Another plot to rape and defile the 1995 constitution is in the offings. I, I am told they are packaging quite a number of things. They are packaging a seven-year term. They are packaging opening up uh, age limits for judges and other, and other, uh, and other people. They are also uh, packaging at opening up uh, the term of parliament from five to seven. This is going to be quite attractive to some section in, in, the, in the country. This last month formed a basis of betrayal within the opposition in parliament. A section of opposition MPs met with President Museveni seeking to champion the agenda of the extension of presidential age limits and term limits of people holding political offices. Who are the opposition figures pushing for the agenda? Uh, some I trust them. I don't know why to that extent they have, or they have moved very fast. A person like Seung. He has, been, he has been moving steadily. Be shocked because Mama Cecilia Ogwari is the senior member of opposition. She has been in a position for a long time. So I'd be shocked to hear that she's in that constitution. Honorable Dunga I don't think I'd be shocked because for him, sometimes he can do anything. I will not be shocked. Yeah, not, a, not a money, by the way. As I've said, for him, he can view uh, something and he, he makes his decision. Actually, those are our mercenaries. As in, those are our mercenaries. Whatever we tell them is what they do. <laughs> there must be something wrong brewing from them which the, the current opposition and the entire citizens in the country must investigate to find out what exactly is going on between them and they should be put to task to explain why they are doing that vis-a-vis -vis the, the safety that was fixed in the constitution by the CA delegates. Within the opposition that, um, uh, that have met the president and that uh, they intend to push it in the parliament, but as a member of parliament for Buhueju County, as a member of parliament with FDC, as a Ugandan who wishes Uganda very well, as a peacemaker, I will not, I will not support it. For us, the matter seems to be controversial at this point in time. Ruling NRM MP Barnabas Tinkasima says it's the right time to discuss the lifting of the veil on age and term limits. It would be disastrous if they brought that matter when we are remaining with a few days toward this election time that we do not have sufficient time to consult the masses. But if they brought it today, it would be the best because we have sufficient time to go back and consult. And what they would say is what I would, what they would tell me is what I would say on the floor of the House. With or without the support of the opposition, given the numerical strength of the ruling NREM in Parliament, if the matter hits the floor of Parliament, the NREM would carry the day. But what are the factors pushing the five opposition MPs into an alliance? with the ruling NREM to agitate for the extension of age limits for people holding political offices. Numerical strength work when there are issues, but this one there is no issue. So at the, at the end of the day, somebody has to pay some uh, uh, money out in order to induce members to support such a stand. Actually, it is very disappointing to see people masquerading as opposition to be the ones carrying money bags hmm? and betraying Ugandans. <laughs> Why would they come and cover, <laughs> have a cover that they are in opposition actually when actually they are betraying us? Would you have imagined that Betty Amongi would have been appointed a minister for, <laughs> for, for lands? Those are people who have been hobnobbing with the President Museveni. They are people who have been doing every bidding for him and they claim to be in UPC. Some of those things happen because some of our colleagues from opposition, they have their personal problems. So they want maybe to, when there is a, an opportunity like this one, they want to, to get also to participate. Maybe they are, they are bailed out also. Whether you're FDC or NRM, whether you're independent, anybody pushing for this campaign is pushing a criminal campaign. We have members that purport they subscribe to opposition. They are opposition during daytime. They, are oppos they, are, they work with the government during the night hours. We have that category. And 
that should not affect the Ugandan community. Because the Ugandan community must know that we have people that have lost principles. This to opposition MPs explains President Museveni's patronage agenda. All this thing that is being done is not being done for any, any Ugandan interest other than the interest of President Yoweri Museveni. It started with the term limit. The constitution hadn't been tested um, for, for two term limit. He, he just went on and amended it, not because Ugandans wanted it, because it hadn't been tested. Removing it the undermines the democratic principles, the age limit. Removing it undermines. We cannot continue shifting goalposts because of an individual. We cannot. We are meant to understand that behind the plot are some independent MPs with opposition leaning. Though he is is an opposition, yes, we know him is a opposition an opposition person, but he is leaning that when we don't have a lot of powers, and maybe if there are those ones, those ones we cannot say much. I wouldn't take anything for granted at this stage, but I would also expect that there are people who are going to come out very strongly against that from the ruling party. They are not going to support it. They are going to stand firm on the floor of parliament, uh, firm in front of uh, every Ugandan, and say no. So it's, it's, it's likely to be a dual, a dual response. But basically it's going to be based on the individual integrity. Members that subscribe to opposition, before getting commitment to such, it needs, it very important that the opposition ha uh, houses or uh, groups need to look into it and come to a consensus before they can get in so that it does not undermine the stand of opposition when it comes to those controversial matters, my brother. Timothy Sibasi, Vision, Parliament.